I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn a very important strategy to find sum of roots for the given quadratic equation. So the question here is sum of roots of quadratic equation x square minus 3x minus 4 is we are given four choices. Now generally if you write a quadratic equation it could be written as x square minus let's say p and q are roots p plus qx plus p times q right that is what we call sum and product right this is sum and this is product now in this particular case p and q where p and q are roots correct so the coefficient of x in a normal quadratic function gives you sum of roots and therefore the answer from here you could straight away say it is b right negative of this coefficient of x well that's one way which you can immediately answer and that really helps in many competitive exams the other thing is that you could really factor it right so let's factor we have x square minus 3x minus 4 we are looking for sum and product right so two numbers let's say p and q which will give minus 4 and if we sum we should get minus 3 so the two numbers are minus 4 and 1 right and therefore I could factor this as x minus 4 times x plus 1 now what are the roots x equals to 4 is the root and x equals to minus 1 is the root correct so these are the two roots roots make the function 0 right these are like x intercepts zeros have multiplicity or order also but x intercepts real roots right so if I add these two, if I add 4 and minus 1, I do get 3, which is the answer, right? So I hope that is perfect and well understood. Let's move on to the next video. It is kind of similar, but it will teach you another lesson. So let's go through that. Now, we have a very similar situation. The question is, sum of roots for the equation 2x squared plus 10x plus 8 is what so we are again given this you can actually pause the video answer the question now here the trick is see if you observe carefully it is 2x squared plus 10x plus 8 so there is a common factor here which is 2 so i could actually factor this as 2 and then we have x squared plus 5x plus 4 do you see that because of this common factor you may write minus 10 as your answer however minus 5 is the answer right since we could factor by grouping right so so important is if you could factor by grouping then the so if you are factoring by grouping then the equation you are looking at is kind of different than what you see initially correct so that is very important to understand okay the other option of course is that this is easy to factor you could always factor this using sum and product so we got two here right and we are looking for product to be four and sum as five so it is x plus four times x plus one I've taken very simple examples because I want to really uh, make sure that you understand the concepts so what are the roots roots are at x equals to minus 4 and at x equals to minus 1 if i substitute minus 4 you get 0 that is the root if i substitute minus 1 you get 0 and what is their sum sum is minus 4 plus minus 1 which is indeed minus 5 correct so that is that is what it is so in case you have a quadratic equation standard form, it is important to see whether we could factor, we could have a common factor for the whole group, right? And then we should 
try to get the root, sum of root. Okay, the last in this series is find the sum of roots for x to the power of 4 minus 13x squared plus 36. So now it is to the power of 4, not 2. So it's kind of different and we have similar kind of options before us. I'd like you to pause the video, answer this question and then look into my suggestions. Now for this one, my suggestion is that uh, factor, that is better, right? So you could think about this equation as x square whole square, we are writing in quadratic form, minus 13, so we are writing it in the terms of x square, okay, plus 36. So, so what we have here is, we have a quadratic equation in x square. Do you see that x square? So treat this as a quadratic equation in x square. So we'll go for product and sum. We're looking for product of two numbers to be 36 and sum to be minus 13, right? Let me write minus 13, okay. So the two numbers are minus 9 and minus 4. So we could now factor this x square minus 9 times x square minus minus 4, right? This can be further factored. So we get x plus 3 times x minus 3 times x plus 2 times x minus 2. Now what are the roots? Let's look at the roots. Roots are when x plus 3 is 0. So first root here is minus 3, here it is 3, here it is minus 2, and then we have 2. Now you can see what is the sum of these roots. Minus 3 plus 3 is 0, so we have minus 3 plus 3 plus minus 2 plus 2, and the sum is 0. So answer C is just the right option. So I hope you understand that with the help of these three videos, what am I trying to communicate with you, right? So sum of roots could be straightforward and could be tricky. Be sure what you're trying to work with. And I hope these examples help you to identify truly how to answer such questions. I'm Anil Kumar. Feel free to share and subscribe to my videos. And if you like, that'd be great. Thank you and all the best.